Brief Shipping responded to a new alternative shipping proposal for Niue by another shipping company, reminding the government of its agreement, which was previously signed, giving Reef exclusivity of the Niue route, as well as dishing the dirt on potential new rivals in Jaw South Pacific. Reef also pointed out its business outlines and assistance over the years and its continuing support of its services on the island. Jaw South Pacific recently proposed to government and private sector to service the islands using palletization methods, but Reef Shipping advised in its response that the company serviced the island for years using containerization methods, which is the best option for Niue. Honorable Premier Talani said the proposal by Jaws is still in discussion with government and the private sector, but a decision will be effective that will benefit everyone. I'm very pleased indeed that, uh, in fact, those things are brought to, uh, brought to light and the private sector are quite openly discussing shipping. I understand the Reef has also uh, put up some proposals and so on. Um, look, I, you know, my hands are tied in the sense that we have an agreement with, with Reef. Reef has invested a great deal in, in Niue. Mm -hmm. And the Jaws proposal is something that we're interested in because it, it was an alternative. Uh, but at the same time, we are always mindful that we do have an agreement, a current agreement with Reef, and Reef has been a good part in any way. So uh, whatever happens, we will have to take those factors into consideration in whatever final decision we make with regard either, either to the jaws or perhaps a renegotiated contract with Reef. At this stage, does it look favourable for jaws? I can't say. I'm waiting for my officials and private sector new chain of commerce to come back to me. I'm giving them, I think, until the end of this week to, to re evaluate and uh, determine whether we, we need to review our agreement with Reef in the sense that w are they prepared to, to, to talk to us. I understand they are, and I'm happy with the Reef's response, uh, a positive response to the request from the New York Chamber of Commerce and I understand from our officials. Are you addressing some of the issues that were brought um, with the Reef response to the proposal? Uh, mainly looking at the partner in the JAWS uh, uh, operation? Well, we, we have to evaluate uh, the JAWS operation in context. Uh, in other words, we've got to make sure that, in fact, they have backup and they are able to back it up. And secondly, we've got to also be mindful, as I've said, about the reef investments here and the fact that they have invested a great deal of money in New York. I'm not going to uh, hide the fact that, in fact, we've been, this is very, 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 very important anyway. Um, and the JAWS uh, uh, proposal is, is that at the present moment subject to uh, my officials advising me uh, as to what they believe we should, be, we should be doing. Even condemning the new company of bad business operations, dishing the dirt out on one of JAWS' partners, Reef seems threatened by the latest expression of interest. However, businesses on the island has welcomed the new interest that could provide the island with an alternative option. It is expected the private sector and government will be discussing the new proposal further, which will no doubt include the latest response from reef shipping. We will bring you more on the story in our future news bulletin.